females receive the uh, classic kimono wearing figures. Check that out. They got lemongrass here. They even got the uh, Indonesian mixes to make the food. Yeah, this is uh, pretty much heaven for me. The chicken's really tender. I think they uh, slow cooked it for a while. Oh yeah, and then the chili sauce is adding uh, just a bit of that tasty spice to it. Alright, hey guys, today we are at the uh, Dai Tokyo Sogo Urushuri Senta, as it says right there. And it's basically a uh, general wholesale shop market where there's, I think, about uh, 70 vendors here. So uh, today we're going to be going inside. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to be looking at some food uh, and everything. They got everything here. They got uh, everything from food, kitchenware, uh, raw materials, already pre-made meals. I think it'll be interesting. So uh, yeah, let's go check it out. So we just entered the market here and already look at this. We can already see the pre-made meals ready to go. They got uh, some slot machines or some arcade games here. This looks really good. I think I'll definitely have to come back for uh, some of the foods here because it looks really good. I came here once and had their, uh, it was like a roasted duck or something and uh, it was really good so I'll probably be coming back after uh, making some rounds here. So let's see what else there is. So yeah, check it out guys. Right here they have the uh, traditional Japanese dolls that uh, grandparents and parents usually give to newborns. So they have it selected where it's like guys or boys receive the uh, samurai style characters or the traditional male outfit wearing figures and the females receive the uh, classic kimono wearing figures. So let's take a look at some of these. So the store owner just showed me a little quick catalog of what they have here. This is the name of this place if you guys want to come here. Very cool. They're what, like, so that's close to $2,000 right there. It's really expensive, but uh, yeah, these are kind of things that uh, grandparents and parents get their children when they're born, and uh, they just kind of uh, keep it as a cool relic. So it looks like here we have a Chinese specialty shop where they sell all sorts of Chinese cooking ware and goods. I think these are pickled goods right here. So the general customers who come to this uh, wholesale marketplace are usually uh, regular customers actually and um, store owners like restaurant owners. They usually come here way early in the morning. I think this place opens at uh, 6 or 5 a.m. So. I'm already probably one of the late customers, even though I'm here at noon. So yeah, let's go to the next spot. So we just stepped outside. This is actually the outside of the market, kind of where the uh, all the loading docks are. But uh, check it out. They got so much veggies and fruits. It's crazy. This little area right here. Probably uh, about a hundred types of uh, veggies and fruits alone here. So here we're at a uh, traditional Japanese uh, spices shop and check it out. And they got all your, uh, you know, regular stuff that you find at the supermarket. Pretty standard, but then if you come over here to the back shelf, they got the huge versions. <sighs> well, this is tare, basically like a just general sauce that you can use for anything. You know, this place almost reminds me of like a Costco, but uh, way more local with uh, small-time vendors. So uh, it's really interesting to come here. 
And what's a market without a uh, proper clothing store? They even got a uh, women's clothing store, it seems, in here. Okay, now this area is definitely my segment. So they have like a Southeast Asian and general Asian superstore here. Superstore mini market. Check it out. They got so many fruits. Got noodles. And my favorite part is right here. Check that out. They got lemongrass here and it's not even frozen. It's Oh, my bad. It is frozen, but uh, still. You know, honestly, that's pretty reasonable. 350 yen for a pack of uh, what, nine, ten lemongrass. That's pretty good. Got kefir lime leaves. Those are definitely an essential to have in Southeast Asian foods. And check it out. They even got red chili. Red chili and green chili. They're really important for making like Thai food, Indonesian food, anything. So uh, really cool store. Even got the uh, Indonesian mixes to make the food. This is amazing. They got nasi goreng, rendang. I made those videos. Uh, soto ayam. This is really good. Dang. This is like the uh, Indonesian variant of uh, instant noodles. Oh yeah. They got the sambal sauce. Yeah, this is uh, pretty much heaven for me, and uh, if you guys are interested in uh, Southeast Asian food and uh, in the area, in Tokyo, I really, really recommend coming here. So I just ordered the uh, Singapore chicken rice from this store called Coco Rotus. This place is really good. Last time I had a, it was like a duck, a roasted duck or something. I don't think they have it on the menu here, but, uh, and then we'll be eating at some uh, benches that you pull up just like street food style in Southeast Asia. So yeah, we'll get the full experience. So we have just received our Singapore chicken rice and uh, it's looking really good. They got some uh, chili sauce, it seems, on the chicken. And they got like a, uh, what is it, a heated egg? I don't know what it's called, but it's completely solid. So let's try it out. Mm. The chicken's really tender. I think they uh, slow cooked it for a while. Oh yeah, and then the chili sauce is adding uh, just a bit of that tasty spice to it. Oh yeah. Let's uh, try our egg here. Mm. Even though it's solid, it's really creamy. Oh yeah. The uh, creaminess contrasts really well with the, um, the kind of spicy chili sauce that's on the chicken. And uh, what do we have here? I think we got some uh, noodles. This is probably the uh, one that we passed earlier at the um, Southeast Asian store just a couple minutes ago. So uh, let's try this. Mm. I think they um, mixed in a bit of um, goma abura, which is basically um, sesame seed oil. I can really taste it. It's, uh, it gives a nice heaviness to the uh, noodles and it's really tasty. This is our little last little bite of our meal here and uh, yeah it looks really good. It's uh, soaked up all of that uh, sauce that was in it. So let's try it. Mm. I know I think it's um, chili sauce. They have chili sauce and perhaps ketchup manis like a uh, sweet soy sauce in it. But uh, yeah, it adds like a really nice little spicy ting to it on top of the rice. So uh, even without anything on it like meat, it's uh, good just by itself. So I am done with the meal. So right here behind me is the uh, fifth corridor entrance to uh, this little uh, market here. So we got number five right here. 
and then there's four, three, two, one. So five aisles of shops and uh, yeah, as I said, over 70 stores. This place has been running for about uh, 55 years now. So uh, it definitely has some history to it. So that was it guys. That was the uh, wholesale marketplace over in uh, Tokyo. This is on the uh, west side of Tokyo in the Fuchu area, right next to the river. So uh, if you guys are in the area and interested in heading over, I really recommend it. Look at that, right next to us we got the uh, Suntory Beer Factory. Now uh, Suntory is one of the uh, largest beer and drink manufacturers in Japan. And I heard they even have a rugby team. So uh, maybe for another episode we could come uh, look, go look at those. But uh, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more.